Welcome to the Royal Library. How tough are you? And as look how stupid these, these designs are. They're pigs with heads. Wow. Terrible. Worst game ever played. Zero out of ten. Fucking hell, I was a comic book too. Long, some time ago, eh? That was something I saw. Like, I was a review or something. Like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this person talking about? Gotta love the pen, though. Oh, I love the pen. Oh, it was the video player, I guess. Yeah, it was the video player. I don't know what happened there. Ah, it's a. Maybe this just finished rendering. Maybe that was it. Yeah, that probably was it. Alright, let's close the ten. Oh, nice. So, yeah. It was done in 54 minutes. Well, as expected, it's a 20 minute part. It's only. Got be, it's only 50. It would have been short if, I, if we weren't doing this, probably. There's an ancient mm -hmm. book. King only just make out. Can make out which your visage scant. Like it's, but it's magically sealed. Uh, you can tell he's really tired when he can't read for shit. No, I can't. I'm <laughs> tired. My eyes haven't even adjusted yet to being I'm awake. Not, not gonna blame you though. Oh man, I do, I do like the pet though. I'm witch. I'm witch. Ah, oh, it's a living statue, Anis. He doesn't seem so alive. Also, I love, it. I love, like, I love giving Eric like the falcon like knife and the other knife because he does like three attacks. And he's actually pretty strong now. He actually does quite a bit of damage. Yeah. And I just can really do some good single target stuff, just with the normal attack. It's like now your attacks are equal to that of like, uh, well, he's got the hero. And you do like three attacks, it is, yeah. Yeah. And plus, I think you still have the sword breaker now, right? Meaning that you can yep. even debuff your enemies along the way. Yeah, I can like, I think it was weakening their strength. Yes. Yeah. Man, I do not like this library though. I get lost, but I also feel like the switches are kind of weird because you never, you, you, know, you can only turn them on. You can never turn them off. Yeah. So it really, it feels really weird trying to collect all the chests in this place. If you're not interested in the chests and getting everything, it doesn't really matter too much. But if it's like, oh yeah, I want to get all the fucking items in the game and read all the books, well, then you're gonna have some fun here. I really don't like this place for whenever I, I think I returned, came back to this place multiple times. It was such a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably one of my more least favorite like dungeons in the games. In the game. I think I had to do the puzzles like multiple times because I returned there. I don't even remember why I returned here. Probably for some side quests. Yeah, yeah, side quests must have been. It must have been. I don't because think there's any reason to return here story-wise in the second act at least. Yeah. So unless I'm like coming here for materials, which I think this shouldn't be such a big deal. Seems like, I did, for what, what it looks, because I don't have any mem memory of this place that well. Most of the enemies you want to grind are already on this floor. No, there's some other strong enemies further above. Alright, so there must be another ex reason for me coming back there. Fuck. There's like the teacher dragon. <laughs> what a, what yeah. a lovely, wholesome being, I mean. He's probably, teaching all the uh, monsters how to speak English, Ennis. It's probably one of the monsters you would see in the Dragon Quest anime, anime, which is still going. So how many episodes is that going to be? Like 50? Oh, right. It's a new episode today. It's already 35, I think, now. Jeez. And it's, yeah, it's interesting. Oh, it, I, I get that it's interesting. The fighting dies dead. I was more like shocked in the finding out today. Like, this show is actually pretty, pretty long. Yeah, it's gonna be. Oh. It's a, It's based off the manga, you know. It's pretty long. All it's. Yeah, I was. Be... Ex I was expecting it to may maybe do like a my hero. If they probably stop it and make a new season. But, all right. I actually am thinking that might that adventure might actually be more seasons because it feels like, it feels like there's not many episodes left, and for the most part, they've just been like screwing around a bit. Hmm. I can't help but feel that it's gonna be like another season at some point. I just gonna make it like do a double season instead. Might be interesting. Well, It'd be better yeah, too, because then we'd have more time spent. Yeah, yeah. When, because when I look at it, and how my hair academia is doing, how Attack on Titan was doing, it's like I think this format is not such a bad format. It's not a bad format. This Attack on Titan would then stop this going. That's this is the final season. 
part 2 later. No, it's called fucking season 5 then. And that was the final season. Jesus fucking Christ. Alright, such a, such a retarded way of doing things. This is the final season. Oh no, it's not. I'm joking. Final season part 1. Now, oh, why? Why are you doing this to us? Yeah, I want to see Bert Aaron. It's like at that point, you could. it's like something I honestly do feel like you could say about like Reezer as well. But uh. But now, no, in yeah. Zero's case, it was never meant to be, like, separated. Hmm. All right, it was because of Rona. It was because of Corona, they had to, like, you know, they had, like, had, like an in-between season of nothing to continue it. So it is technically still all season two. For them, for the creators, anyway. But they have, like, Attack on Titan season three. And then it's, like, part one and part two are, like, almost a year apart. It's like, oh, come on, this called a different season, then. Alright, oh, you don't even have the Rona as an excuse this time, right? What? I can say, I can kind of say, say the same thing for the final season, because the final season I think will happen in winter. The winter sea, the winter? Uh, Anime? It's either winter or fall, it's like, come on, just fucking call it season 5 and that one the final season then. Yeah. It's easy, it's easier that way. Or maybe just give it a cooler name because you want to like change how the anime kind of looks and feels. Like, I don't know, like Attack on Titan by War, and then the second one is like Attack on Titan by War Season 2 or some shit like that. Yeah. Why not? Fuck it. Like, look at all those other animes going with their creative Season 2 names. Like, for example, New Game Plus. <laughs> I love that. That is well, that's a pretty clever title. New Game Plus, right. Man, it's kind of weird how New Game... It was such a popular man manga now, and I don't really hear anything about it. I don't know, I don't see, I don't see any, like, there doesn't seem to be, be like a Season 2 coming anytime soon either. Or Season 3, rather. Three. Yeah. Maybe because I really, it's like... I really want a Season 2 of the Vampire Girl anime. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking that maybe they don't really pay attention too much to the Zaki class. You know, it's a fun show, you know, right? but yeah. it's like one of those other, like, somewhat the story's done. Sure, there's more to do, but this feels like a good ending for New Game. I guess. But what I really want is more, is more an anime of uh, the, uh, of uh, like a vampire, of the, like, the vampire anime with cute girls. <laughs> it was like Alice John or something. Like, it was like when this fucking girl just beats this vampire. And then it's like, oh yes, vampires are the best. I love vampires. Please suck my blood. No. <laughs> Come on, suck my blood. No. I love how the vampire tried to scare away too. Like, like, look, I'm very strong. I can hold up this vo boat waller. Roll the waller. <laughs> oh, no. No, no. But she was just impressed even more. It's like, okay then. I just can't wait for some of the usual ones with their seasons. Yeah. I know. Then again, I, I, be, I probably should just start watching like Attack on Titan after and watch Jujutsu Kaisen. I think she's watching actually. I think she's watching Zero. You, you're right. You're right. Let me start with that one and then go to Attack on Titan. It's well, it's a, it's a really good fucking season, man. It's like I really. It's like I, I thought I could do it. I thought I could like watch whole of Naruto, you know, and then yeah. go. But no, that that, that final arc. Yeah, but they, uh, they hit the final arc. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, man, no, it's like, you can't just do, it's just drags at some point. And mainly because of those flashbacks, it feels like, ugh, I just don't feel like it. Even though I can skip them, and I do, and I do that, and it's like, ugh, such a drag. It does kind of feel like a drag. I find the more interesting part to be like near the end, more like the final battles of that arc rather than the arc itself yeah it's like hey you want to bring all the characters back for a bit okay yeah, it's also that i don't mind itachi being back mainly for that the, because there's some story things do happen with sasuke and everything uh, but yeah, like we... when it's like every villain or every character comes back it's kind of like okay whatever yeah. it's like a lot of them are coming back. It's like Jesus Christ. That's what my opinion of it is. I don't know. My ass just exploded. And, like, and, uh, fuck and you. And some of them then just simply call. Oh man, back. this one stinks too. Jesus Christ. 
also open a window, but it might bring the neighbor back. <laughs> yeah. Just well, keep the door instead, open. they'll be turned off from the smell set up for. And it's like, I was thinking about it, but it's like, you know, they also, some of them really just go down real quick, which I don't mind, but it's like, man, so annoying. It's like, oh yeah, some of them go down by top no jutsu, others go down after stabbing them, even though it was said that stabbing them is not how they die. Welcome to the final work. At least the ending is good. Uh, at least, I, I, I better be. It's like the fight with Naruto versus Sasuke, the fight with Madara, the fight with uh, Toby, the fight with Kabuto, or at least, you know, seeing Orochimaru come back. The fight with Kabuto is kind of bad. It's kind of bleh. Uh, then there's, it's of more, course, it's, it's more Itachi and Sasuke, like, getting along, I guess. That's more interesting. And then, you know, then there's the whole Orochimaru coming back. That's going to make me hate it even more. It's gonna come back and it's like, ah, oh, yeah, well, I don't feel like it anymore. I'm just gonna revive everyone after that fought Madara. Uh, I'm gonna bring back the, the other Hokages. Okay. What about the other Hokages of the other nations? I don't have the fucking bodies, dipshit. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Wait a second, how is he able to bring back the other Hokages? Oh, well, he did it once. Yeah, but the other, the, the, those three were basically, the, the, those four are now sealed, right? All four of them. By <laughs> the, the Reaper thing. Are they? Yeah, no, that was, that was the whole, that was, that was like talk with Kabuto. Kabuto said, yeah, I can't bring, bring back like the, the, the four Hokages, the old, the third Hokage, the fourth and the one and two, because, you know, when Orochimaru brought them back to fight against the third, the third sealed them away with the Reaper spell, with the Reaper Jutsu. And the Reaper Jutsu seals the fourth Hokage away as well, meaning that neither, no, 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 all four of them can't be brought back. So, um, Ennis, <laughs> not if I told you that Orochimaru said, fuck that shit, I'm gonna bring him back anyway. Orochimaru's bullshit, I swear to God. It's like he was interesting in Naruto, and he was kind of interesting when he, like, when he died, right? Yeah. Now it's just bullshit. When you hear more about it, it just sounds bullshit. I'm telling you, man, there's like, I'll say it often, I say it once, and it's like, after hearing this, I'll say it again. It's like, now oh, there are some good things. In terms of its world building and some of the stuff, it can feel hard. Right. I think it's especially in Shippuden where, it's, honestly, it feels, especially after the pain arc, where it kind of goes like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, after pain arc too. It's such a such a good arc and everything. I think the problem is the author kind of going, okay, I made this arc, but I don't really know what to do next. This is kind of the best thing. Like, I thought it was already good enough with like the one that, with like the what was it, ten thousand, one hundred thousand Zetsus? Yeah, yeah, one hundred thousand. I think that was enough. You didn't need to bring everybody back. I thought, and you know, Kabuto just, you know, using Yamato as a booster for the Zetsu is another good idea. Like, it was enough. I guess a to Tensi does make sense because, after all, it's a technique that, you know, yeah. Orichimaru used. So I guess it would make sense for him. My, my, my question is how he got everyone's bodies. Oh, that's also like a good question. What did he do? How many graves did he rob? <laughs> Which one did... of them weren't, uh, weren't yeah, completely eaten? Or dissolved, or whatever the fuck it was the word for it. Why was Itachi even buried? Nah, uh, actually, Itachi makes sense. Remember, they did take his body for his eyes, so... Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Which, it also makes... Because of that, it also makes sense. Because I remember, uh, what it called, Zetsu taking some of the bodies as well for his own purposes. Then, then there's still the question, because I do remember him getting at least the two zombie... Is the zombie team? And... I don't remember what happened to the zombie man, right? The one that was crushed by rubble. By the way, you have a mimic because you think it's a stronger version of the cannon box. Right. Of course, now you have the zinc stick, so it doesn't really matter if you cast back on all the party members besides red. Yeah. Makes everything way easier. Also, you have victimizer. It says, fuck you, 308 damage. Nice. That's not even its max power. Just wait till he starts using his Kakabushin G. Uh, Kaken, Kakabushin, Kakabushin no Jutsu. Uh, 
I don't actually really mind it. Yeah, well, like, some people complain that like the Naruto getting a bunch of power-ups, but I actually don't really mind some of the power-ups. For me, it makes sense for now. All of them make yeah. sense. It's like... And I, at least when it comes to like Sage mode, it was like one of those it was probably just brought out simply for Sa yeah we need to no no up. no Sage mode was fine. I was talking, I was complaining about like the like, Nine Tails Aura thing. But it's kind of like I don't know, it kind of makes sense. And it's like we've seen some of them doing it, so it's like it makes sense that he had some point to control it, right? Right. And so it's. Think. It feels like natural progression when it comes to controlling the, the, the Nine-Tailed Fox. Yeah. Unlike... Oh, what do I say? Just suddenly pulling out Super Saiyan form for Naruto? It's, right. It's like a wild, wild example. And you know, it's been shown, right? Naruto constantly going berserk with the Nine-Tailed Fox. So, so it's, again, it's natural progression for him to somehow... Yeah, I, actually, I was actually form. fine with this power up. I don't, I don't think the power ups were the biggest problem. It almost said that like it just kind of goes on for the arc kind of just goes on for a long time, needlessly. Yeah, and then you know, and you fucking start thinking about certain things. It's like, man, how does it? How does it do some of these stupid things? That's what happens when you like pitch your best at these in one arc, and then like, oh fuck, I wait, I have to make more arcs. I'm not done yet. <laughs> I think he just finally settled on the team with like the pain arc and then went like, okay, this is it. This is the final team. I'm not going to go any further. This is the final team we're exploring. And it stretches that team out for a fucking an entire arc. Like, a, a, like an entire, like, 100 chapter long story arc or whatever. I, I think he could have really just left the pain part. Like, you know, finish it with like pain and then just start like, yeah, you know, Toby is the, the big bad, bad guy. He does want to like Take away the thing image done with all of this, like thinking about this team. We done it already. We just mm -hmm. need to stop him. I think it would have been enough, right? At least I think it would have been enough. But it's like, and again, I don't really just exactly don't know how how much they just try to go into this team of pain with or a bit Toby, but we'll see. We'll see. But I'll see. But yeah, it's, not, it's a good idea to just take a break and just watch something else for a bit. Yeah. Just make sure it's not going to become like Bleach. <laughs> Where you just want to watch it forever. I thought, uh, you know, I think the high point with Bleach somewhat was like the final fight against whatever the fuck number four's name was. Oh, Okura? Okura? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was like the high point, and then we still had more things going. And I do know that Aizen, like the fight against Aizen, is going to be great. At least everybody says it is. It is really good. It is a good fight. So I am interested in seeing that, but it's like, I think for me, where I really started to like stop is like when not, where, that guy that you would think is number 10, but oh wait, no, he did it for the, he did the, the fuck you, with fuck with you people. No, he's number one. You see? And now he's number zero, and that makes him number one. My favorite part is that his whole entire... It's basically his fight gets kind of cut out anyway. It's like, he just... Uh, he gets beaten off screen. <laughs> anyway, we have a cutscene to talk about. Wait, a great enchanted beast? この計画は成功し、魔女を封印した金賞を古代図書館に収めた後、私はミルレアンの森でその聖獣と余生を過ごすことにした。なるほど。魔女の封印にはこの聖獣とやらが欠かせんようじゃな。ミルレアンの森に聖獣なんていた？魔女の手下っていう魔女なの？Yeah, like what the fuck? It was the witch's pet, right? Right, Ennis? Yeah.その魔獣とはどんな姿をしていたのかね？ And he just calmly walk, looks at the fucking picture. I love this reaction. It's not even like, 
You know, like... <laughs> you know, normally you get this, like, uh, yellow, like, ex like mark of, like, what? But here it just goes like, Ah, you fucking idiot! You have a woman with us all! Yeah, she should know. That's kind of it. Wait. Oh yeah, well, remember Ennis that book the Queen was reading? Ennis? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it right. had the same symbol on it. I was how weird. I like how he just casually says that and doesn't think like, wait a minute, why does she have it? Ah, the gears start turning. Ah, oh, the dog can start jogging. Thank you, Veronica, for being a sensible character and saying that something weird is going on. Let's go and check it out. And they'll say, Nan -de -de -nan -de -nan. Oh, Ver Ver Veronica is always the one person so suspicious of other people. Every other character is like, Ah, it must be my, my, my imagination. It must be nothing. It must be, you know, just, ah, uh, now, Masakane, Masakane, Masakane. I hate the Masakane most, but the most. Like, it's like, the other they're connecting the dots. They're like, this person, it can't be a coincidence. It's like, Masakane! <laughs> I, 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 I always say, like, it, it must be my imagination, right? That no, that, no, it's more like, no, it's like, nah, it can't be. Nah, <laughs> nah, it can't be right. Masakane! Ah! <laughs> piss me off! It, it also happens in Slice of Life anime too. Uh, piss <laughs> me off! It's like when, um, you know, like uh, Umaru, that anime? Mm -hmm. Where the guy, the older brother finds, like, the older brother of the big titty girl. Yeah. And he goes, like, hmm, he has the same name. He kind of looks like her. And he is even in a place where, the, where she described him being. Masakane! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't be him. That's stupid. Oh my fucking god, I facepalmed so hard. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I hate that trope. It's my least favorite anime trope. It's always like, must be my imagination. Masakane! That happens too often, and it's just annoying. Like, it's so. I hate it especially if it's like something like Joseph's Bizarre Adventure, where they're constantly fighting weird shit with weird powers, and I can't just simply like put two and two together that, oh, maybe this weird thing that's happening is caused by a stand. Yeah, you're stupid. Ah, Masakane! Must be in my imagination. This is like, literally we're in a fucking weirdo land right now. There's just such a thing as your imagination. Alright? It stands, yeah. Actually, many series with crazy powers. <laughs> you know, maybe. Right? <laughs> it's like, I would get you know, it. I don't, care, I don't care if it's your imagination. Just tell them, like, I, was, I might be imagining things, but I feel like there's something happening right now. At least have people be careful, you know? Yeah, it's like it's, it's like I get it maybe if it was Luffy, you know. But even he Luffy, Luffy would just out of instincts go da da da. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, see, his gut is probably the strongest fucking sensor out of all. Right, like Luffy has the instinct. Yeah. Just, just be careful that he doesn't throw minus two at wisdom saving throws. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait for the next One Piece D&D episode. I just love this episode. The last episode was so fucking funny, man. Like, I was fucking laughing. I almost died. What, what, <laughs> number, what number are they on? 27. 27. Oh, that's something I make a mental note of. Just forget it. But good yeah. to know. But good to know. My god. And also, it's one where, like, characters make, where some characters make the dumbest decisions too, well, often. Like, especially, like, <laughs> Duros just, like, it's like, okay, this Inquisitor, yeah, I'm just gonna tell her everything. <laughs> ah, it, seemed, it didn't seem to work out well. Oops, oops. <laughs> oops. Oops. Ah, don't worry, we just, like, fucking, like, assaulted your brother and, like, fucking, like, caught him, like, fucking, uh, caught him on a ship. 
Genius. Genius. He tried to talk to a jutsu like some fucking inquisitor girl. <laughs> it didn't really go well. Oh yeah, she was very nice. She only like put a rapey up against my neck twice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that duos. Truly, a lot of a really positive person out there. Right. Something you can always build on. Oh no, that's ice physics. You know, I had this completely random idea when playing like a role playing game, right? Like in D and D, and we go to the character creation, right? Mm hmm. And I had this crazy idea of, so when we go with these characters, you have to roll a dice to decide how long the, the, the how long the dick is, or what the three sizes are. Very important. Very important. You can possibly throw a, 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 a one and have the smallest dick in the universe, or or higher, you know, we're gonna go with like a high number, so like 300, and so you have to try and hide the dick wherever you go. I kind of want to try being the game master, to be honest. Or then the other crazy idea of like with the three sides. Anyway, uh, there's a full conversation now, but we need to talk because uh, we have to make some anti freeze earrings. You can kinda, I think you can kind of guess why. There's a boss yeah, battle coming up, and it's good to have ice resistances. If you get them to plus three, you can get like 25% like uh, freeze resistance, like ice uh, attack resistance. And if you equip two of them, you have basically take like half damage in this boss battle. I don't think you had to spec your skills so that Serena could... Man, play. look at that Veronica. She's glaring at her. <laughs> Veronica is like the only character that actually can tell when someone's having like an evil expression on their face. <laughs> 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 Next time on Dragon Quest XI, <laughs> we fight the witch. <laughs>